Hey, welcome to another show with the. <laughs> Just starting out like 20 or something. Okay, God. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Hey, welcome back to the Carrier Check Show, where we're trying to provide you value every day in your sales process, in your operations, in just life in logistics itself. Nate, we're talking about pacing today, and I think this is kind of an interesting subject because a lot of people think about pacing maybe, well, am I, what are we talking about? Are we talking about how fast I talk or are we talking about, you know, the actual motion of, of walking? But here's what I can tell you, Nate, and then I'm going to kick this over to you because I think this is really good is that motion he creates emotion right and in sales we've got to be emotionally charged in order to connect with people a lot of people make decisions on emotions so let's talk about the importance of pacing moving around and working through those things yeah a lot of people when i mention pacing they're like you know what do you mean <laughs> just make some movement you know stand up in your if whether you're at home or in your office but i think it's important to get up and move around and like you mentioned um, I think just moving overall just really helps you over the phone. And here's a couple of thoughts that I gathered um, that could help you with pacing. Mm. You know, it, it enhances um, your focus. Yeah. You know, it increases blood flow and increases your engagement with another person on the other line. Maybe it's a prospect or a carrier. Um, improves communication. You know, while step one is doing all that, step two is helping you improve that communication. Um, it could reduce stress. Mm. This is a stressful industry. Sales is stressful overall. And I believe that walking around can either help you um, stay less stressed. And obviously there's a health benefit to mm. it. You're getting up, you're walking. We all need that as humans. Mm. And then of course, um, just find the right environment. Go somewhere where you feel comfortable making that first call or that second call. If you don't feel right in your environment, mix it up. You have to mix it up. And then if you have a wireless headset, I think that's beneficial as well. Mm. You have your hands free. You can catch. So I'm a big person of talking with your hands yeah. as I'm doing it. Yeah. So if you're one of those people, a headset would be beneficial. If you don't, it's okay. Put your phone up here and let's rock it. Let's go for a walk. Go to your laundry room, your kitchen, wherever you feel comfortable. Yeah, I love these tips, Nate. It's so important to get up. It's so important to be in the right environment. Nobody wants to be in a stuffy area and feel good about making a call. So great tips today. Um, Thanks for sharing. I really appreciate that. You know, check out eCarrierCheck.com where we uh, have made a software essentially for helping you source and build relationships with carriers, brokers, and shippers. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.